Excuse me, sir. Can I take a portrait of you? You look great. Outfit, I love the, the tie, the <laughs> waistcoat. Can I just take a What's simple portrait? For? Well, I can send you the photo. It's not for anything serious. Oh, okay. I'm just out doing some street photography and I thought, all right, yeah, you look great. Yeah, oh, cool. This is all right. We'll step a little bit further back here. This is cool. How come you dress like this today? Um, is this just your normal attire? Well, uh, I don't dress very differently, but uh, I've been doing some work with Oakland House weekend. Oh, nice. Uh, so you've been showing some people around? Showing people around, yes. Yeah, so showing people around at the old Bailey today. Yeah. These are cool. Doing some nice. Do you want these photos? Right. Or are you all right? No, no, no. Cool. Thanks, right. mate. Okay. Nice. Have a good day. Yeah, thank you. Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video. POV, street photography in the city of London using the Canon EOS R, which I must say, one of the nicest cameras I've ever used. And you'll get that vibe throughout this video. I'm basically just singing its praises with every single photo I take. But before we jump into the city of London and start taking some photos, I wanted to let you know and announce my brand new Lightroom preset pack, Minimal and Moody 2. The first Minimal, the first minimal and Moody preset pack I released, the feedback was amazing. It's still my most sold preset pack. You guys loved it. So I've improved it, I've upgraded it, and pretty much all the photos I've been editing over the last five or six months have been edited in this moody, grungy, dark, minimal, and moody style. So if you're interested in how the photos are edited in this video, it's with my brand new presets. And if you're not interested in the presets, then enjoy the video anyway. A link will be in the description. Thank you so much for the support. Enjoy me taking photos with the EOS R. Let's go. First photo of the day using the EOS R is this fantastic look up shot, looking at the walkie talkie, using the contrast between the old buildings around me, looking up at the modern building. We're shooting at 7.1, shutter speed 320, ISO 100, all the way out at 16 mil. That's super clean. Nice blue sky today as well. Gonna get close to the floor here. Use these leading lines all the way in at 35 mil. Using the yellow lines on the floor to lead our eyes into the shard in the distance. Probably lower the f-stop to f8. That looks kind of nice. Boom. The shutter on the EOS R feels so nice. It feels a little bit more mechanical than the, the R6, which I'm used to. Let's, let's go super wide, actually. See what this looks like. That is cool. 16 to 35 coming in clutch here. I must say, already taken like two or three photos, the EOS R feels a lot nicer to hold than the R6. Now, I know the R6 is a newer, improved camera, but I don't know, the ergonomics of this, this just feels nicer. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, I wish the R6 felt like the EOS R to hold. Tom, just pretend you were taking a photo again. A little portrait of Tom just from behind. Nice and clean. So we're just walking by the walkie-talkie here. And the only way to describe this building is just mental. <laughs> this is one mental piece of architecture. The sky's looking good as well. So this is a nice, simple look up. 7.1, shutter speed 1 400th, ISO 100. We'll throw a nice dramatic edit on that. We could just get directly underneath the walkie-talkie. Oh, mate, this is beautiful. So I'm stood directly underneath the walkie-talkie now. That cloud is just perfection. Love it. We're gonna make that blue seriously pop as well in the edit. Why does this building even look like that? Who, who designed that? And then they looked at the architecture plans and thought, yeah, all right. All right, so the Gherkin's just in front of me and the Gherkin's another funky looking building. And I see these yellow lines on the floor. So we're gonna get a nice leading line image. We go shutter speed 200. F6.3 seems to work. Focus into the distance. I'm gonna make them yellow lines really pop. I'm just going to use this railing as well on the side to act as a leading line because this, uh, well, maybe not as a direct leading line, but it's just something nice in the foreground of this image. We're going to go F6.3, I think, works again. Shutter speed 1, 2, 50. Just we've got these nice lines in the foreground, looking up at the gherkin a little bit. That's kind of cool. So these look-up shots around the Lloyds building always look better when the sky's got a bit of uh, cloud and detail in it. If it's too cloudy around here, then obviously the buildings don't reflect anything. But right now, there's a little pop of blue in the sky. The clouds look good. F6.3, shutter speed 250. Just love photos like that. And obviously, we're verging on the line of just architecture photography at this point. This isn't typical street photography, but street photography, urban architecture photography, whatever you want to call it, I love it regardless. Really nice. Really loving how the EOS R feels as well right now. Seems to be doing everything I want it to. Feels good in the hand. Let's get a nice look up shot here as well. F7.1 exposed for the highlights and then we'll lift the shadows in post. Very cool. These buildings just give off the best reflection to whatever's going on in the sky. This image just looks chaos, but something about it. That's cool. Excuse me, sir. 
Can I take a portrait of you? You look great. Outfit, I love the, the, the tie, the <laughs> waistcoat. Can I just take a What's simple portrait? For? No, just, well, I can send you the photo. It's not for anything serious. Oh, okay. I'm just out doing some street photography and I thought, all right, yeah, you look great. Good. Yeah, oh, cool. This is all right. We'll step a little bit further back here. This is cool. How come you dress like this today? Um, this is just your normal attire? Well, uh, I don't dress very differently, but uh, I've been doing some work with Oakland House weekend. Oh, nice. Uh, so you've been showing some people around? Showing people around, yes. Yeah, so showing people around at the Old Bailey today. Yeah. These are cool. Doing some walks. Nice. Do you want these photos? Or are you all right? No, no, no. Cool. Thanks, right. mate. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah, thank you. You see it when people just like Photoshop a plane into the middle of it all? Oh, I know. I mean, I could definitely do that, but I'd rather not. Oh, I can see some sun flares reflection coming off of the buildings. We're going to go all the way to F22 to see if we can get this sun flare. Ooh, that's nice. F22 shutter speed 130. Ooh, love how these skyscrapers just almost meet in the middle of frame here. Probably want to change my settings though. We don't want F22. We'll go F7.1, get the shutter speed up to perfect exposure, 400th of a second. Them buildings literally almost touching in the middle of frame there. That looks sick. Classic St. Paul's spot right here. Now I have taken this photo so many times, but I'm using a different camera. So that's my excuse today. Using EOS R with the 16 to 35 the wide lens. Love this. Get the lens nice and close to the drainage in front of me. These leading lines are great. 6.3 f-stop, shutter speed 1 400th. That's a clean image. These stairs look great. Oh, I've got this chap just walking up here. I like it. Let's actually go down as well and shoot up. So I think this is a nice angle to create a cool silhouette here. Definitely something here with the railing in front of me, the glass reflections, St. Paul's as well. I just kind of want to... Oh, that's cool. I like that, actually. So just being careful not to drop Tom's camera. These stairs look so sick from above. I'd actually, I'd like to get someone walking through them just so there's a subject in there. Hopefully this chap's gonna walk up here. I'm gonna lob the ISO up a little bit. 250 seems to be good. There we go. These are cool. Get them just on the corner there. That's nice. Something about the shapes that the architecture's creating here looks quite cool. Such interesting architecture around here. Shooting quite wide, 16 mil here. We've got one person, we've got two people in the bottom of this. Here we go. One subject walking down here. Wait for him to just walk in the middle. I like this composition. Lots of light, lots of shapes, lots of weird angles. Some nice photos there for sure. Right, so we're just heading towards Chinatown. Chinatown's just in front of us. We've got the 50 mil on, the trusty 50 mil, possibly the best street photography lens. We're gonna see what we can get with the EOS R today. Smoking just in front of me here. He loves it. Did I get that? A really busy shot of Chinatown here. Focus on the bunting in the distance. Lots of people out of focus, but it looks kind of chaotic. That's kind of cool. Throw a cinematic to get it on that. This guy looks cool. like that. I can definitely throw a nice moody edit on that. Focus there. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, yes. Wait. Yeah. Mate, there we go. That's the, that's the one there. That's a banger. Nice one. This guy looks great. Yeah, cool. Well. Regular viewers of this channel right now will know what I'm about to say, but you're probably not hydrated enough. That's just me guessing your life choices. I'm assuming you've not treated yourself to a fresh glass of water recently. So go, go ahead and... But just before we jump into the hashtag Mike Chudley to see your work, to see some of the photos you've been posting, I wanted to just, you know, give a little sale, give a little plug, give a little shout out to my preset pack, Minimal Moody 2.0. I've been trying to put this preset pack together for like the last six months because my personal editing style has changed a little bit. Obviously, depending on the photos you edit. Most of my Instagram feed and most of the photos you see on YouTube are edited in this like minimal, dark, grungy, moody style. It's hard to describe it. 
it's basically just minimal and moody. That's, that's what it is. I made a preset pack about a year ago, the first preset pack, and you guys loved it. So I'm just doing my job. I'm providing the world with my services, and those services are photo editing presets at the moment, it seems. So um, without going on too much more, I've done my little spiel. If you want to check out the Minimal Moody 2.0 preset pack, then a link in the description. Now jumping into the hashtag Mike Chudley to see what you guys have been posting. 12.7 thousand posts. That's crazy. Thank you so much. Keep using the hashtag. And um, yeah, wow, that's impressive. The first photo I'm seeing here by MVH underscore visuals. The colors, obviously it's golden hour, it's sunset or sunrise. I love the way this is framed. The two roads, symmetrical. The building in the background, symmetrical. You've composed it really well. There is just no flaws in this photo. I really like how you've edited it as well. Quite a minimal edit, which um, little plug to the Minimal Moody preset pack that I've just released. You probably get a similar sort of vibe with uh, some of the presets in there. So that is quality. This shot by Boney looks amazing. Always love how you edit your photos, mate. Now I think I'm following you. Yeah, I am following you because look at his feed, man. So good. Such a cinematic style to all of your edits. I know I clicked on this photo originally, which is amazing, but I've just got to give credit to your whole account because, whoa. This is just super impressive. I'm kind of lost for words, really. If you want a cinematic vibe to your photos, then check out Boney's account because he's killing it. Oh, seen some doggos. Let's just double tap that for the doggos. Gorgeous. A little bit intimidating, but gorgeous. Oh, this skyline shot by Mike Osborne. That is really clean. I've just realized that's London. Wow, I didn't even notice that straight away, but this is great. Nicely edited as well. Sometimes long exposure shots of water and cityscapes can be a little bit overdone. Like the edits, some people think that, you know, just saturate the hell out of it. But this is like, but well, this is, this is done really. Sounds like there's an F1 car outside. Point being, this is a really nice edit. Shout out Mike Osborne, that's a cool shot. This long exposure shot, by Talia.jpg. London buses, I don't know what it is, but they provide such a nice subject for long exposure shots like this. Probably because they're long and red. That sounds inappropriate, I don't think it is. But yeah, London buses are just such an easy subject to take a nice long exposure of, so you've done a good job there. Oh, we love a bit of light and shadow by Haunted underscore Media. You've spotted some nice contrast there between the highlights and the shadows. The graffiti looks good, a bit of pop of colour. And hang on a minute, that graffiti, matches that girl's hair, right? Or have you edited that? Either way, edited or not, she's got pink hair. That's cool. Contrast between the light and shadow and matching colors. Two very good aspects of street photography they're captured in one photo. Ooh, King's Cross in London. Always looks nice by DRH underscore framed. Nicely composed as well. We've got the railing in front of, like in the foreground acting as a leading line. And obviously the texture in the ceiling because King's Cross, King's Cross? King's Cross looks great. I'm just gonna scroll on my screen here so you guys can see, well, maybe you can try and spot yourself. But I just wanna say thanks to everyone using the hashtag. Obviously, I'd love to go through every single photo, but um, it'll be my birthday <laughs> before that happens. So uh, yeah, great photos. Thanks to everyone using the hashtag Mike Chudley. Really is appreciated. Hang on, that was sick. Just spotted that. Bank station, nice little long exposure of London bus in the background. Very clean image. Let's stop getting distracted. That's it from me. Please check out the Minimal and Moody 2.0 preset pack. Both mobile presets and desktop presets. I don't think I mentioned that, but yeah, presets for mobile and desktop. Please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.